everybody. Welcome back to Tavian and Grow Reptiles. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Uh, so I've got a story I would like to share with you all today. Uh, so uh, two days ago, not yesterday, day before yesterday, I was uh, taking out Maleficent and she, uh, she came out actually and she did her roaming thing and I was actually putting her back in which she never likes to do. She's not one to come out on her own, but she does enjoy uh, going on a roam on her own when she is out and does not want to go back in when it's time. So I was uh, taking her out, or uh, putting her back in, and uh, she kept wrapping her tail around the tripod as I was trying to get her back in. And so uh, <laughs> I ended up, I lifted her up like this to focus on her tail, which was down there, uh, and get it unwrapped and she shot back around and she got me in my ear you can see that bite there it uh, it didn't hurt it did not hurt that bad at all um, it did hurt a little bit because she got stuck in my hair and for a moment and when she did get me I went like pulled her out like that which then caused her to actually kind of tear at my ear rather than just like latching on and let go um, it was not a really bad tear. You can see where the tear actually was, and then it was mostly just like puncture marks. Um, anyway, I, I I put her away, and I went to the bathroom. I put pressure on it to stop the bleeding because it was actually bleeding a bit, um, but that's kind of a sensitive area. Um, and so I put the pressure on it. While I was putting pressure on it, it just felt like there was a spot that was particularly more sensitive than the rest, but I was like, whatever. And when I finished putting the pressure on, I checked it out while I was cleaning it. And I thought there was just like a raised piece of skin or something. Uh, I didn't want to pull it, so I just like left it and cleaned around it. And uh, went about my day and then my night. And the next day, which was yesterday, I uh, was on my way to work. And I was like, man, it's just really irritating me. I, uh, I was trying to put my headphones on and I just couldn't put my headphones on all the way because something just felt like it was just irritating me and I thought what it was was like a piece of skin that was just kind of dried um, and just kind of pressing back into the skin um, and so I was just trying to pick at it and I couldn't for a minute but eventually I got my like nails on it and I just pulled and it didn't feel anything like I expected it to I expected it to feel like a hangnail when you pull the skin back it just kind of pulls and rips uh, but it felt like something was pulling out of my ear and so I looked at it <laughs> and lo and behold it was actually a snow snake tooth from Maleficent when she bit me uh, it had gotten stuck in there and what I was cleaning was not skin but that snake tooth the end of it was sticking out of my skin and look at this picture here it is so so tiny like you can't hardly even see it it's amazing um, so yeah that was very unexpected um, <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it, but uh, Antiope is like crawling over the top of my camera right now. She's climbed up the tripod. Oh, and she's on her way back down. Okay, anyway. So, yes, the bite was not that bad. Uh, it went into my ear. I pulled it out. It was very tiny. You see it on this, like, uh, pin next to this penny. It was so, so, so very tiny. Um, so you can imagine how that did not hurt going in it was just the fact that it stayed in and then my ears kept rubbing it um and you know it's kind of like getting a splinter uh that's what that felt like and i just had to like pull it out um you know and just for anybody who does not know uh my snakes fine snakes losing their teeth is very common because their teeth are like their hands they use their teeth for grabbing their prey for uh, for holding on for eating uh and so losing teeth is a common thing for snakes um, I'd always hoped to actually be able to find a tooth. I had not hoped to find one embedded in my skin. Uh, but either way, uh, it's pretty cool. It's not one of the, you know, fangs. It's not a very large tooth. Uh, but it's still a cool thing to find. Uh, sadly, it was in my ear, but uh, no big deal. Uh, so, yeah, I just I want to share when things like that happen. Because as much as I love my snakes, and as much as I want to make sure that everybody else loves snakes, as much as I would love everybody to own snakes, uh, I also have to be absolutely honest that snakes do, bites do happen. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I'm all about people understanding that uh, owning snakes means that you're likely to get bit every once in a while. Um, it doesn't happen often. I have since shared every bite that I've gotten uh, since starting my YouTube with you, which is now two. The first one was this Luna, uh, and now this one. So, uh, you know, there's 
you know, I'm, I'm trying to be as honest as I can about it. And uh, this was a bit of a funny story because I, I pulled a tooth out of my ear. <laughs> so I wanted to share that with everybody. Uh, I'm not hurt. I'm not afraid of Maleficent. Um, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm never going to hold her again. I just wanted to share it because it was a funny story. And I, I did pull a tooth out of my ear. And I think uh, people can appreciate hearing things like that and just know that, uh, you know, we don't die with taking care of our animals. And these bites don't kill us, and they're not life-threatening, you know. I mean, if, she, if you know, this had been Antiope when she was an adult, and she had gone at the side of my head, um, this would have probably been a lot worse, because that would have been a very large mouth uh, going out of my head. And then ripping, and have you seen retic bites when they, like, get a good rip in? It's not pretty. So I'm glad it wasn't a very giant thing, and I hope to never experience that. Uh, in my life, but uh, things happen, and uh, when it comes with little snakes, you know, bites are absolutely a thing. So, yeah, I just want to share that with you guys, everybody. It's early in the morning again. Uh, it's only about 7 this time, though, so it's not super early, but yeah. Anyway, I'm out of here. You guys take care. Love yourselves. Love your reptiles. Love those snake bites. Uh, you guys keep spreading those hurts.